Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of George Talks, and yes, I couldn't think of a more inventive name, so please shut up. But anyway, I decided to make this new kind of series, I wouldn't even really call it a series, it's just something that I just felt like doing, so I can basically just talk to you all and give you information about the channel or stuff that I personally plan to do that has something to do with the channel or The Witcher George in some way. So there's a few new things that have gone on with the channel that I haven't really been able to address or find a place for. I've talked about them kind of in The Witcher gameplay, but I realise that not all of you will watch that because obviously a lot of you will have already played The Witcher 2 or say, I don't know, Oblivion and you kind of don't want to go and watch someone else play it again. So I'm just going to try and explain it in these videos for everybody. And honestly, these videos are a bit more comprehensive than my sort of mindless babbling in those games. <laughs> so for these videos, I'm basically just going to address all the new things with the channel. So, the first point I want to address is to say thank you for 30,000 subscribers. I was planning to do a video for it, but I honestly couldn't think of something that would really work. And I decided that I'd plan a proper video for 50,000 subscribers. And I do a proper giveaway, I try and do something fun for you guys, and just try and work something out. I'm not entirely sure what it is at the minute, but if I do eventually hit that, which could be in a long time, I have no idea, then I will do something for that. I just want to address that for you guys. And also, thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers, that is crazy. So the next point I wanted to address for you guys is that I've actually been live streaming on Twitch quite a lot recently. And because I've been live streaming so much and I've been enjoying it so much, been able to interact with you guys, been able to have fun, it's just been such a fun thing to do. I thought that I would actually make a proper schedule for Twitch so you guys will know when I'm streaming and it won't just be random and kind of how I've been doing it at the minute. So you can see on screen that I have the Twitch schedule that I've laid out. And I know a lot of them say possible at this time and that's basically just for you guys to be kind of ready at that time just in case I decide to. To, but it will be between those times. The main reason I've decided to put possible for those days is those are the days when I'm doing videos for the YouTube channel and the days when I'm not doing videos for the YouTube channel is when the live streams are guaranteed. As honestly, some videos take longer than others, so I may be able to live stream later on in that day if I have time. Hence why it's a possible stream. But just for the confirmed streams, if you guys want to be part of these streams, if you guys want to chat to me, if you guys want to see my face, I suppose. Yeah, I forgot to mention, I actually have a face cam on Twitch now. I don't use it for these videos as honestly, I prefer watching The Witcher and playing the game and stuff, and these videos are an excuse for me to be able to play it again. <laughs> but I do have a face cam on Twitch, so if you guys want to see my face, want to play against me on Gwen, if you guys want to just chat to me and chat, I reply to everybody who talks, it's really fun. Then go and follow me on Twitch and be sure to be in tune for those streams. And another point I wanted to address is that I was thinking of actually changing my Twitch name. Some people have asked me not to, someone specifically said that they'll find it more difficult to find me on Twitch, but the main reason I want to change my name is because of an email I had from CD Projekt Red a while ago. And just to tell you quickly, I'm not planning to change my YouTube name, it would be specifically for Twitch. So I'm not going to show you the specific email or who sent it to me simply because I value the privacy and I appreciate the fact that they got back to me after I reached out to them. Because what happened is back in March, I basically thought to myself, oh, I'm called The Witcher George, I literally don't own my own name. <laughs> Because obviously I don't own the name Witcher, and technically the Witcher George is a character in their games. So I don't own the name in any sense. So basically what they said to me in this email is that they can't allow me to do anything with the name, and as a general rule they don't allow their assets, which include the Witcher trademark, Geralt's likeness or anything like that, for professional or say commercial purposes. And it's not that I plan to do t-shirts or anything like that, but it's the fact that I literally don't own my own name, and that kind of takes away from the fact that it's my thing, you know, it's my Twitch. My Twitch has very little to do with The Witcher as a whole. I do play Gwent on there, but I play other games and stuff, so I feel like it might be worth changing my name on there. But if you guys honestly think that that would be a bad idea, and you think I should just stick with The Witcher George on Twitch as well, then I'd be interested to see what you say. And if you have any name suggestions for Twitch, I'd be interested to hear those as well. So just as a final thing to say, I would really appreciate you all coming over to the Twitch, and coming and watching me on there, and having fun there, as I I honestly just want to be able to talk to you all more, and I can reply to you in YouTube comments, but generally I don't get the reply, and honestly, the feeling I get when I stream and I can actually feel like I'm talking to you guys is just so amazing, because honestly, I just, I genuinely enjoy it. It's so fun. I get to talk to you guys about The Witcher, see how everything's going with you guys, and it's just a fun time, so be sure to go and follow me on there. So the next thing I want to mention is the possibility of me going to events, and I also wonder if you guys would actually like that. Basically, this idea came to mind after I saw that Gamescom happened. And I thought to myself, oh, I would have loved to go to Gamescom. It would have been really cool to sort of meet a bunch of new people, go around, look at all the stalls, have a fun time. And then I realised I could probably go, but then I thought this is a bit short notice, <laughs> so we'll just leave it. But I thought to myself, I 
should try and go to more events and try and just meet the people that watch the videos and just actually have proper interactions with you guys. Because as I've said a hundred thousand times, the entire purpose behind me making my channel was to try and meet more people that like the stuff that I like. Because it is incredibly difficult to find people that like the stuff you like, at least where I live. <laughs> that was the entire purpose behind my channel and honestly, I really think that going to events and stuff would open up the possibility for that more. So currently I have no events that I'm going to announce going to or anything, I haven't been invited to anything and I don't think I ever really will because my kind of content doesn't really fit into anything that would be worthy of being invited to. I doubt CD Projekt Red would ever invite me to anything and I do support the Witcher games and everything but I seriously doubt they're ever going to invite me to do anything and I'm honestly cool with that and I doubt any other sort of company will invite me to do anything as an event and just be able to meet you guys and so I'll be able to get to these places more easily simply because of the videos I make as it's not really promoting their product so much, it's just promoting one thing. <laughs> but no, I'll try and get to events myself and meet you guys, as that'll be really fun. I'm not sure which event will probably be next on the list. I was considering going to the Comic-Con in London, which is in October, as that seems something that I could probably do fairly easily. I could get a train down to London, and that could be quite a fun thing. So you guys tell me if you'd enjoy that. And the next point I've gotten here that I wanted to discuss was my plans for future videos. I'll obviously be continuing with the lore on The Witcher. I'm going to be doing some more lore in The Elder Scrolls soon. And I also wondered if you guys had any series that you'd like me to do lore on. I've had a lot of suggestions for stuff like Warhammer, Dragon Age. I've had like a few people say Fallout, but you guys just tell me which series in particular you'd like me to cover in videos and you feel like aren't covered on YouTube because I feel like that might be just a fun thing to do. But I also plan to do some more theory videos soon. I've done a few theory videos over my time on YouTube, but I feel like I could do some more and I do quite enjoy the theory videos. I kind of weave in theories into a few of my actual lore videos just because it's quite a fun thing to do and I feel like it fills in gaps in places. But I'd like to do proper theory videos soon. I have technically already done a video on Gaunter Dim, but I'd like to do a proper theory video on him soon, with new things that I've discovered as I've been doing YouTube. As obviously, making this channel has been a learning experience for me. I've learned so much more about the Witcher lore than I knew beforehand, and it's been such a fun thing for me to do. So obviously I'll know much more about characters like Gaunter Dim than when I started doing YouTube. Also, I want to do some more gameplay, as I've said. I'm going to continue with the Witcher playthrough. I'm going to continue with Oblivion. Sorry I haven't done a video in a few weeks. I've been very, very busy, and on those Fridays when I'd normally record Oblivion, I've just constantly had things to do every single week, be it continuing the video that I started the day before or so on. I plan to record some Oblivion tomorrow, which is technically the day this video comes out, so there should be another part of that out soon. Tell me if you guys enjoy Oblivion. I'm not entirely sure if people like that, but I just enjoy playing it, so I'm going to continue it for now. I'd like to do some more gameplay soon. I'd love to play some Bioshock. I'd like to do possibly a series on God of War as I've heard that game is so good and I could buy a PS4 if I wanted to and then play that so you guys tell me if you'd enjoy that. However, I may just stream God of War as it might be a bit difficult to get on the channel. And also, of course, I'd like to continue with these updating talking videos. Every time anything interesting happens, I'll kind of compile it all slowly and then when I feel like I've got enough things to talk about, I'll do a video on it. These videos are going to be fairly sporadic. They're going to come out once every few months or so. So I hope you'll all look forward to these sort of videos as well as it's just quite fun for me to do. <laughs> and for the final point of today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I've been planning for a while but it's been quite difficult for me to actually get done. And that's the potential for a new Witcher George logo. As I do really like my current logo, but it is technically line art. And I don't mind the line art and I think it's kind of cool, but I feel like I could get a more realistic logo. For example, I love the art they have on Gwent cards. I'd love something like that. But honestly, it's so difficult to find an artist that you can trust that's going to achieve exactly what you're after. As obviously, if you're going to change a logo for a channel or anything, it's a big thing and you want to just get it perfect if you're going to bother going to that much effort. So if any of you guys out there just want to design something or just want to tell me, hey, I'm I'm an artist and you can here's a look at my work and stuff, I'd be really interested to have a look at that. I may not even change the logo if I don't find anybody, but we'll see. Honestly, I'm on the fence about it at the minute. Anyway guys, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. If you're wondering, I did mention I had a face cam on Twitch and you may be wondering why don't I use it for these sort of videos. And honestly, the main reason is that I really just want to be able to play The Witcher. <laughs> and these videos give me an opportunity to sit down for a bit and just be able to play The Witcher. I enjoy playing The Witcher. I think honestly the quality of that game improves the video so much more than say just my face at the camera so i'm just going to continue with doing gameplay when i'm talking but if you want to actually see my face be able to talk to me and stuff be sure to go and do the twitch thing i mentioned earlier anyway guys i hope you've all enjoyed today's video big thank you to the patreon pledges you guys are honestly all amazing it's so kind what you do thank you so much to every single one of you there's some of you that have been here since i was on like 10,000 subscribers which is a few months ago now and honestly i'm just happy to have all of you in my videos as the channel's been growing so thank you to every single one of you that donates to me on Patreon, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have an awesome rest of the week.